my gosh, well, you just saw the crowning of Lisa Garcia, the new Miss Florida USA Yay. 2011. Yeah. Lisa, well deserved. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You are just four days into being Miss Florida USA mm -hmm. 2011. So, how's it going so far? It's been pretty, it's been pretty surreal. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of waking up in the morning realizing that I am Miss Florida USA, but little by little, I know I'm going to get up and running. Up until now, it has been kind of hectic. I'm still, I'm already planning what I'm doing for the rest of my year, and this week, for the rest of this week, and the rest of the month, I'm gonna go support my sister Queen and Miss Teen USA in the Bahamas next week. So it's, I'm going, I'm. Hired. You have a very yes. packed schedule for the next year. You definitely do. Oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna keep busy for sure. Now you know, Lisa. We all, you know, we see the pageant on TV. We saw it Saturday night, and and you know, we see how the glitz and the glamour and how beautiful all of that was. But there's so much preparation that goes right. into this months and months and then those days leading up to the pageant yes. are pretty hectic yes i won miss miami tropic in october so basically since october of last year i was getting ready up to this point so once the new year hit it was every month every day just getting ready preparation preparation i went into miss florida usa and i was ready to own the stage and that was my mentality. And you could tell you looked so confident up there. You looked absolutely beautiful. And I know in Miss USA, the interview and that question they ask you once you make top 15 mm -hmm. is really a big deal there. In fact, we actually have your question here. I want to roll it so everybody could see how great you answered. <laughs> oh, well, let's get to the question. Okay, it's not working, but anyway, you did great. It was wonderful. High school, better prepare our well, yeah. youth yeah, for oh, success okay, in this business world. Okay, yeah. but he said, I know Shaylee got Trina some food. Oh, oh, and I always got your back. You know what? We have Trina's. Uh, all right. You know what? Okay. For the question, I was very prepared for it. I had great coaches, you know, with pageant ready. Every month we prepared. And for the question, I was so cool and collected. That I felt great on the stage, and and you did. You and answered. I did. I you answered wonderfully. Now I do want to say you were Miss Cuban American in 2007. That was that picture that we just saw right there. Yeah. We said as Miss Cuban American. Yeah. 2007. You represented the Cuban woman in the community during that year that you were Miss Cuban American. Mm -hmm. and you were actually, oh, first Latina to win the title of Miss Florida USA, the first Hispanic since 1996. And over 10 years, we haven't had a Hispanic woman representing the title. I know, so it's it's pretty impressive. You know, I kind of have big shoes to fill, but I will make the state of Florida proud. You know, even in USA, I'll make you guys proud, I promise. Oh, we know <laughs> you will. Now, something that I found so beautiful, the girl that was up there with you, your first runner yeah. up, she actually, and you guys said it on the stage at night, she is your best Friend, and it just goes to show that you can compete against your friends. Yeah, you and I competed a few years ago against each other. <laughs> We're good friends, and I just I thought that was great to see you and your best friend up there. And you were, you know, you could tell she was genuinely happy for you. Yes, yeah. Emily, actually, you saw her earlier in her red bikini. She was doing the fashion show yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. She's Miss Miami Beach, and we did get along great. We met last year, and. We just developed this beautiful friendship, and when we were on that stage together, it still didn't feel like competition. We were just genuinely happy for each other that we were both there. Yeah. So it was great. You do make good friends. Not only did I make friends with her, but even girls that I met during the pageant week, it's going to be friendships that's going to last. I'm still getting texts. We're still going back and forth and just getting tips from each other. So it is fun. Pageants isn't what most people make it to be. You do make friends, and you do have fun, even with the hectic... The, ha the hectic thing that happens during pageant week, you still have fun. You still make yeah. great, great friends. Okay, Lisa, we have to wrap it up, but I want you to tell us, you have a full year ahead of you. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what you're expecting and what you're, you're wanting out of Miss USA. Well, I'm definitely going to make everything that I can. Every minute, every second, I'm going to make sure that I plant my seed and that it grows, that people get to know me as Lisa and that they get to know Miss Florida USA as well. Right. So I'm going to make sure to impact lives and just go out there and work with the American Cancer Society and the Ovarian Cancer Research Foundation, which is my platform and what's close to my heart. All right, Lisa, congratulations again. Yes. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to see highlights from this year's Miss Florida USA pageant or want to learn more about Lisa Garcia, Miss Florida USA 2011, you can go to their website, MissFloridaUSA.com.